Okay, I'm live. Woo hey guys, hello, hello, hello. Monday, Monday today, still winter break, and I figured uh, we have a like a kind of rainy, foggy weather, not much to do. So if you are in the same boat with me, maybe you would like to um, paint something. And so today I decided to paint an angel. So this um, this painting is being broadcasted to three things at the same time. It's amazing. I just got the software. I'm very excited about it. And so I'm broadcasting to uh, paint along uh, Monday page and my um, Luba Carlson artist page. And it's also being broadcasted to my YouTube channel, which is, it blows my mind. It can all go together. Um, uh, so why I'm doing this is because I want to invite you guys to my Paint Along Monday classes. They will start, the spring semester will start on January 11. It's um, 10 o'clock a.m. Uh, Central Time. Every Monday, the starting January 11, I will be going live and will be painting uh, something special. I already have posted two classes, uh, scheduled two classes um, on Paint Along Monday page. If you need to know where it is, let me see here. I think I can do it this way. So it will show you the link where to find it. It's pretty simple, facebook.com. Uh, forward slash, right? It's called the forward slash, uh, paint along Monday. So today we're painting a snow angel. Let me remove that banner so it's not in the way. If you need to see it again, let me know. If you, um, uh, you know, for whatever reasons, let me make sure I can see comments. I'm going to put this in the chat also. I'm going to put the little, oh, wow, it put it three Oh, no, it shows three times because it's three things. Okay, never mind. It's my own thing. All right, so we're going to start with the sketch. And I really like to use these pencils. It's pretty funny. They're called my first pencils, and they're used in, like, preschool and uh, kinder to teach kids uh, to, to draw and paint. Uh, I mean, not draw and paint, to write. <laughs> and they're pretty thick, but um, they're, just, they're just right. I don't know. I just love them. So I'm going to start with a little sketch. I'm going to put the line right in the middle for my angel. I want my angel to be right in the... Um, um, so if you break your page like in half here, let me see, can you see this? Yes. And then in half here, I want to show you how to do this so you can do this by yourself. When uh, when you want to paint it, you can do this. You do not need any tracers for this. It's not that complicated, okay? And then you're going to divide in half this way. So you're going to have eight tiles. And what you want to do, uh, you want to have your angel, angel top being right here and the bottom line being right here. Okay, hope that makes sense. So for my angel, it's going to be a very simple angel. I'm not like going, you know, anywhere crazy with this. So I'm going to start with breaking this whole length here in half. So I know where I'm going. And then this part here, I'm going to break in half again. Okay, maybe a little bit more. And it kind of gives me the idea of the head, where my head is going to be. So I'm just gonna sketch a circle for the head. And then um, I'm gonna mark like same distance, probably my two fingers so that you just have a have an idea how I'm doing this. Two fingers on either side. Okay, and starting from the head, I'm just gonna draw line and another line. It doesn't have to be um, strictly symmetrical. So the 
because it's a painting, it's not a geometry project, right? It's not an engineering task. We can do this. Okay, and then for the bottom over here, I'm just going to extend this and I'm going to make it a little bit curvy, like so. And I'm just going to bring this all together, like this, just straight down. We do not want to make it like a full triangle, right? We're not making a, a Christmas tree, right? Now, for the wings, for the wings. I'm going to like just put my finger right here by his head and get a mark that's going to be, I usually can do this um, eyeballing, but just for you guys, yeah, just right here. And we're going to imagine that his ears, we're not going to paint them, right, but like the ears are somewhere here. So kind of draw a light line. And maybe put your finger again to mark it so it's kind of symmetrical, right? And we're going to put a line right here and right here. So this is the wing going up. Uh-oh, what happened? Okay, let me see if my... Um, Looks like my painting needs to restart. Something happened. Oh, and now I need to restart. What's going on? Maybe too much of... Um... Okay, well, you let me know. I hope. Has trouble connecting. Okay, probably... Okay, I'm back. All right, good. Good, good. Okay. And then I, you kind of can decide what kind of wings you want to do, because you can just draw a shape here, like a little C, connecting it this way. This could be a wing. You can do, um, go a little bit up higher and kind of come back with a question mark and then connect. This could be a wing. So whatever you like, whatever, you know, whatever you're fancy. I'm going to do this kind of. I'm going to do the the curvy wing. So I'm just going to come up a little bit. And then I'm going to mark how far I need to come back. Usually helps. Kind of like this. And then go back. Like that, and hide behind the dress. And this is it. So my next step is not important, guys. It's not uh, necessary, but it helps, especially uh, beginners, so that you can see what you're doing. So I'm going to grab, you can use a Sharpie. I just have this pen. I forgot what they're called, artist pen. And I'm just going to trace my main lines to, to help me to not lose it, right? Not lose my sketch once I start putting acrylic paints on it. So again, you do not have to do this. And quite honestly, if you know what you're doing, um, you can just start painting the background and then paint this right on top. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I need to find my eraser. What did I do? Eraser, eraser here. Just a regular school eraser that my dog chewed on. <laughs> so I'm just gonna erase all the extra lines that we do not need. And look, we have an angel. We already have one. And from here, of course, you can uh, use even coloring pencils. You know, you can do whatever you like with this. But I wanted to do a rustic, um, rustic looking um, uh, angel. I got inspired. I just was flipping through my Pinterest and I saw this 
guess what? I saw the kitchen. It's actually a kitchen that I saw. And uh, it was done in teal and like a light wood, a little bit darker than oak, but not too dark. And, you know, like white um, um, elements on it. And I thought, oh my gosh, that was so pretty. So this is my kind of, this is what I want to do. So I want to do a light teal background. Um, uh, let me see. Perfect. This is clean. It will work. So for teal, I'm going to need... I'm going to mix white and I'm using my Arteza paints today. You can use any other paints you like. I'm just kind of playing with my big girl paints <laughs> today. <laughs> uh, some, this is called a Cerulean Blue. I love this color. It's very pretty. And uh, I have yellow green here. This is going to be interesting. Teal is funky to mix. So, but I really want to mix it. And it's funny because like sometimes like I have a few different uh, brands of teal paint also. And it's funny how it's bluish in one uh, box and then it would be more of a um, uh, greenish. Uh, in the other and then it's really pale in the third one that's like you never know you never know all right so again if you want to uh, have access to these classes make sure you go to facebook.com forward slash slash just slash uh not forward slash just slash uh paint along monday here Okay, I'm going to keep it here for a while so that everybody can join. Or you can try and find me on YouTube. I have a very, very tiny channel on YouTube that I'm just starting. I just understand that not everybody is on Facebook and not everybody likes lives. All right, so I'm going to use my... Ooh, hold on, my water. And I'm going to use my fan brush. Okay, let's try and see. Let's grab some blue and some white. I think I'm going to need a lot more white for this. I'm going to use all of this, I guess. A little bit of water. And I'm going to grab a tiny bit of green just on the end and see where it takes me this should take me exactly look just right away isn't this a gorgeous color look at that that's a perfect teal that's exactly where i want it to be um i hope the camera is showing you well because i see teal i hope you guys see teal too because like on my screen, I see kind of bluish, but it's teal. Okay. A little bit more of water so that I have enough. And I'm going to use like crisscross like this back and forth. And I'm just going to cover my whole, all of my paper. And I'm going to try and avoid the angel as much as I can but if I happen to get in lines it's not a big deal because because it's acrylics and you can always cover it up it's not gonna so I am trying to get uh, different tones on here and I'm trying to make sure that I have it going all the way around my angel so that I don't need to deal with more. You know what? I'm just gonna. So that I don't need to get a more of a 
um, cutting into lines, you know, like dealing with, oh, I missed the line and I need to use a tiny brush and then, you know, it's a different strokes and and you can see that, oh yeah, somebody did come back here to, to fix this later. It's kind of what I'm trying to avoid. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting water on my brush and I'm using what I pick up from the top to spread it down the bottom. I want it to be a little bit more transparent on the bottom. I think I like this. Definitely like this. Okay, we're having a little meltdown with the video game they're playing. Um, in case you didn't know, I have two boys. And we homeschool. And this is how Paint Along Monday started uh, this summer, this past summer. Oh, I see comments. Hold on, let me see. Sorry, you guys, I was too busy, too busy painting. Lucinda says it's showing colors. Yeah, it's showing colors always off on camera. Are you painting on canvas? No, I am not painting on canvas. I'm painting on the Max Media Sketchpad. It's like a 10 by 12. Um, lots of pages. See? It's Canson brand. I, it was Honestly, it was the first, the first one I picked up, and I really like it. So here we go. I've got this. Hold on, drop something. I don't want that on my painting. All right. Okay. I think I like this. Okay. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Where's my paper towel? What did I do with my paper towel? Hold on. I cleaned up too too well. So I, because I have to move pretty much everything on my desk. You can paint this on canvas. Listen, that you can paint this on anything. Paint it on wood, paint it on canvas, acrylics, well, paint. Yeah, and if you have like, I think it's called, oh, not this one, hold on. Mm, I'm sorry, hold on, give me a second. Not this one, not this one, maybe this one. Multi-surface, yes, I just wanted to make sure. And if it's multi-surface, you can paint on anything. So I'm going to clean up my brush and I want to add a little bit more texture. There we go. I really like it. Okay. So next thing is I'm going to add a little bit of texture to this and I'm going to use an old credit card because most people have old credit cards, but cards, but uh, not everybody would have a palette knife. So I figured I'll just use an old credit card. Yeah. Old credit card and some white. So I'm just going to dot, make dots on the perimeter of dots of white is kind of ish, right? Oh, that was a lot. I'm going to skip, skip over here. And I'm just going to drag, okay? So what you want to do is you're going to, you want to put your credit card flat like this, flat to the paper, and create some tension. <laughs> That's right, Lucinda. Use what you have. Thank you for sprinkling love. I appreciate it. Um, uh, so, yeah. You're going to make tension and drag. Yeah? And then again, tension and drag. Okay. So, I'm just going to go up and see what it does. And don't, like, I don't want this perfect. I just want some white on this. Okay, this credit card is a little bit too big. I'll have to change directions so that I'm... Yeah. 
See, there is some paint on here, but it creates this very cool effect. And now I'm going to drag the other way so that I do not have these lines. And I think I like this maybe here a little bit more. Just kind of, and then just drag the card on it and you'll get this kind of very interesting snowy rustic effect. Listen, this says, I like that effect. Thank you. Who else is with me? Say hi, you guys. You know I don't bite. <laughs> I like to know who's watching and so that I can tell, so I can say hi. Okay, moving on. So I'm going to use more white. White? What did I do with it? Here it is. I'm going to just put it on my little palette here, white, not much, oh, you know what me, uh oh, hold on, dropped it, <laughs> I'm back, <laughs> all right, probably more than this, okay, white and a little bit of, uh, raw sienna which is this very cool color here it's awesome i think it's awesome for creating like um antique things you know like old things rustic so what i'm gonna do <laughs> daddy from padre island hi Okay, I am not sure if this would be a good brush. Hold on, let me see. I have, I really like this one for smaller work. It's just a flat, it's number two. It's pretty small, as you can see, and it will work great for, for the face. So I'm gonna grab some white, yeah, and the tiny, tiny bit of the Sienna. So what I'm trying to do first, my first step, I'm doing a base color, a uh, base coat. And my, my goal is to cover all this blue mess that I've created. And yeah, could I have painted around it? Probably, but then my brush strokes would not look the way I wanted them to look. So, oh well, that's all good. That's all good. Okay, where am I? Right here. Okay, just painting in the face. And it, it's going to need to dry before I can put another coat. And I'm going to use more white and a little bit more of the sienna, raw sienna. And I'm going to add some more water to this so that it spreads better. It's really, sometimes it's great to have this thick paint. It works great. And sometimes you just want to thin it out a little bit. Like I'm looking for fast coverage right now for the first, first base coat. And so this is gonna do exactly what I need. There we go. So again, what I'm doing here is just doing a base coat that will help me layer other things, make it Cute and gorgeous, right? That's what we want. We want it cute. Unless you do not want it cute, and then you know, then it's a then it's a whole different topic. Yeah. 
So if you guys are watching me on paint along page, this is like paint along on steroids. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> A regular Monday class is gonna be like this is more intermediate level. A regular Monday class is gonna be for beginners. Now, if you've been taking my class since um, August, you probably most likely are ready for this. You can do this. And I'm thinking if you're a beginner and you haven't done this before, just make sure to have grace to yourself and uh, give yourself time to figure this out and uh, play with paints and see how they're going to act and what they're going to do. So right now I'm just adding white to my paintbrush. I'm not happy with coverage, so I'm going to grab my bigger brush. Just gonna put some water on it. Um, get the white, little bit of sienna on it, just a little. There. Excuse me. Can I need more white, right? Right now, it's like, oh my gosh. What happened to this angel? <laughs> Something bad happened to this angel. Oh no. Okay, just white. On the face. I'm just using the same messy brush. So if there is a little bit left, a little bit of Sienna left. I'm fine with that. There, like this. So, oh. and what's also very cool about acrylics is that once your like background or base coat is dry, and if you mess up with the next one, you can just take a little baby wipe or a damp paper towel, and you can just clean it up. So it sounds like we're going to get snow on, on New Year's Eve here in Central Texas. I am not certain how I feel about that. <laughs> so the, the, the weather here has been um, crazy, to say the least. So we would wake up and it would be like an upper 30s and then after lunch it warms up to like 70s and then by supper it drops down to 50s or 40s and <laughs> it just keeps going like that. It's hard to keep up with this weather. It's hard to know what to wear anymore. Like summers are easy. So I'm just kind of adding light strokes of white. There is a lot of paint here right now. And if I put heavy strokes in, it's going to pull. It's going to pull the paint. And that's not what I want. So I'm just adding light strokes. And I'm going to use my hair blower, a uh, hair dryer, my gosh, hair blower, um, to, to, to dry this up a little bit. 
something happened here and something happened here so i am only again i'm only using white paint right now but it's still on the same messy brush okay Okay, time to dry. I am not washing out this brush. Okay, so I'm just going to put it like inside of my um, wipey, the baby wipes that I'm using so that it doesn't dry out too fast. But that's it. Let me dig under the table and find my hair blower. Okay, guys, let me see what I can do. I'm going to try and mute. Let's see. Can I mute this? unmute so i'm gonna mute for while i'm using this i played uh, i watched the replay of my own show a couple days ago and oh my gosh the noise this makes in the like with the micro microphone <laughs> thank god for this uh software that i can actually mute my microphone in the middle of the live okay give me a couple of a couple of seconds, minutes, whatever, however long this is going to take, and I will unmute. Okay, I'm going to mute. All right, I'm back. Lucinda says it's starting to have the vintage look. Thank you. It's it's awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so here's the plan. The plan is to make uh to paint the wings next so i'm gonna clean up my brush my wings i want to make them white but if uh if you know if you noticed ever if you just paint something white it kind of comes out flat it doesn't have character it doesn't have any volume to it you know it's just plain flat white so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paint this whoopsie with a different brush let me see i think this will work and i'm gonna give it a tiny 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 bit of blue okay so at first i'm gonna do white so i'm just gonna add a little bit more white to my palette Palette or palette, I, I'm always like, oh, what is this palette, palette, whatever this is. Okay, wet my brush a little bit, not too much water. 
grab the white and so I'm just going to paint my wings all white. I want them to stand out against against the uh, the robe. Right? And since the robe has like these kind of gold undertones, blue would be a great, be a great, great way to kind of highlight that. This is one of the very old uh, tricks they used to, when they painted um, icons for churches and people to use, and they couldn't, um, I mean, you can't put gold in everything, right? Especially if it's real gold, especially if you're in like, I don't know, 17th century. <laughs> And so that's what they did. They put, oh, they did yellow next to blue. And the blue made yellow look even warmer because blue is so cold. They would use like the sky blue. And uh, that made, like gave this look that looked gold, even though it was just yellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Some more of this raw sienna. Some more of this white that I have. Same brush. Just adding it to my my robe. A lot of paint here. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it happens. So I do not want this to have like one specific color. I have lots of different layers. That's how you get this vintage look by adding different layers and blending it in and then it all starts to come together. I really need to get the edges a little bit cleaner, good, like that, and like that. A little bit. A little bit on the bottom, I want to cover up that marker that they left here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, if you feel comfortable doing this without the outlining at first, you can definitely go for it. It's not that complicated, right? Okay. I see I have more guests here, guys. Say hello. As I mentioned before, I do not bite. <laughs> I really like to say hi to my people. It's awesome that you're watching. Thank you for watching. Oh, somebody dropped as soon as I say hi. <laughs> as soon as I ask, guys, say hi. People stop dropping. I don't know why. I don't know what's the... What's the thing with that? I somehow got green paint on me. Alice, hi, it's so good you're here. Hello. 
How are you? I haven't heard from you like in forever. Okay, sorry that you have to watch me cleaning my hands, but I just can't stand it when I have wet paint on my hands because then I make a mess and we do not want a mess, right? Okay, here we go again. <laughs> Okay, this is trash. I don't want this anymore. This is nasty. All right, so I do have all this white right here. I'm going to put it closer to the blue, and then I'm going to dip the corner of my brush into the blue, just the corner. Can you see how much? Just a tiny, 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 tiny. Alice says she tried to invite me to virtual craft group. Okay. Did you invite me or, or did you try to invite me personally or the page? Because uh, they wouldn't. Sometimes they, they um, lots of groups have settings set that businesses cannot join their pages. Okay. So this is light, 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 light blue. And it's going onto the wings. And I want more blue on top of the wing and less blue going down. So it's, and so I'm trying to blend it in. I'm using very light motions because there is a lot of paint and it's starting to pull. I should have probably used the air blower again, but I kind of didn't think about that right now. So I'm just going to try and finish this. Go like that. Yeah. I like. And I'm going to add, so there's a little, little bit left somewhere. If I try real hard, I'm sure I can lift it. Mm, just a little bit of that teal. Ah, there it is. I found it. I knew there was a little bit left. It was way too wet to dry up so fast. So a little bit of this with some more white. Okay, and then I'm gonna, okay, maybe it'll show in my notifications, Alice. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna dry this off and this is kind of a dry brush. So I'm gonna just add this to the bottom of the robe. And it's kind of a shading on its own. Just blend it in very well so that I don't have any like lines in there, right? Hope this makes sense. Just kind of like that. Okay, I'm gonna run the uh, hair blower quickly. One more time, wash this out. And I'm going to turn off the, uh, I'm going to mute myself. So again, you don't have to listen to this awful noise that feedback of the air, hair blower creates with the microphone. It's not fun. <laughs> <sighs> okay, hold on. Mute.
Unmute. Let me see if I can really quick create. Yes, I can actually create a banner. Muted for. Let me see. Let me see if it works. Okay. I take this off. This on. Awesome. Okay. So next time I'm. Um, oops. Next time I'm muted for, for that, I'll just put that banner on so that if somebody, you know, hops on right in the middle, they know what's going on. <laughs> okay. I have light apricot color that I'm going to use for the head. Mm -hmm. I just need a tiny, tiny bit of it, not much at all. And I'm going to use this smaller brush. Here's the color. Uh, Lucinda, I'm excited to see the finished product. I have to take my four grandkids to see their great grandma. I'm sorry, but I really, really do appreciate you sharing your work. Oh my gosh, no worries. No worries. Okay. You know where to find it. You can always watch a replay. It's not going anywhere. Uh, let me see. Alice says, oh, my OMG, this is so much better. I'm still in the habit of falling off my headphones when I hear you say blow dryer. I know. <laughs> I mean, the software is worth it just for the fact that just because I can unmute, like I can mute and I can use the blow dryer and you don't have to listen to this. <laughs> listen to have fun. Okay. So I just wanted to use apricot color for the face the head and I think that's it okay and I am now thinking that I'm going to use this color on the robe too. So it's not just like, you know, sometimes there would be just this one color that just shows up out of nowhere. Nobody under understands why it's there. It has nothing to do with anything. So I filled up my brush, clean it off on the paper towel. And it's almost a dry brush. And I'm going to add highlighting. to the robe, <clears throat> add a little bit more color to the robe so that the robe can be visually separated from the wings, right? I mean, it still looks good. Yeah, just make sure to blend it very well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, if you do not have apricot color, what to do? apricot color you can make light apricot darker apricot whatever uh white you start with white base and you add a little bit of yellow to that and then a tiny drop of uh, red and kind of mix 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 and see like if that's the right shade for you if you're if you're happy with what you're seeing i'm not happy with the bottom here for some reason i don't know why i'm gonna dry brush a little bit more white on it I don't know. I'm just not happy with it. I don't like the way it looks for some reason. Okay. I think maybe I put a little bit too much of that uh, bluish shading. Like I wanted a tiny bit. I didn't want a lot. So now I'm adding some white to just kind of offset that. Yeah, better. Okay. All right, I'm going to add some more white to the bottom of the wings. Okay. 
just gonna make it less transparent there just like this and I'm gonna dry brush it all the way up so that it will it will very softly blend with the light blue that we already have in here something like that yes I like do you like what do you think <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so this is an illustration type of thing, okay? So there's not going to be a face. We're not painting any faces or anything like that. I'm grabbing my liner brush, tiny, tiny liner brush. And I'm going to use more white, more, more white. Uh, if you guys are ever buying sets of paints, like buy, do yourself a favor, get an extra white. <laughs> white goes fast, goes even faster than black. Yeah. Okay, grab some white to the side. Add some water to it. I want it to be a little bit more like ink. Not as wet as ink. Ink is more like water. But I want it, I want it to be like that. Okay, so my next step, I'm going to, yeah, this is all dry. So I'm just going to trace white. all over the lines like everywhere i had those like black marker lines remember at the beginning or you can also say that i'm just outlining with white to just uh to make nice crisp lines <laughs> you know what's funny funny is that I used a tiny tiny bit of green to create that uh, teal and somehow I end up with green everywhere like how I don't know how I don't know how this happened but it happened okay more white all the way around the head. Mm. Can I use my fingers here to to help me? Yeah, but I'm not gonna put the line between in between the head and the robe. I'm just gonna move down. At least you've learned to roll up your sleeves, right, Alex? <laughs> I do roll up my sleeves. I do know that. Painting is a messy business, right? So much fun, but sometimes it gets real messy. So putting more white on here, making a more defined line. Oh, what happened? Okay, hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna need to mute you guys just for a second, okay? And it's not the blower. Hold Okay, how's that? 
better. My my phone for some reason decided to turn on the sound and I started to hear it. I, my own my own feedback. Okay. Excuse me, tickle in the throat. Okay. And the last wing going around. Go around. Uh oh. Yep. And then go around here and around here. Just a nice. Nice edge. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more white to this puddle of mine. Okay, so I'm gonna add little highlights around the wings. We're just gonna go around once. <coughs> Excuse me, tickle. I left my water over there. Hold on. I'll try not to trip over my wires and cords and everything. Okay, here we go. Hold on. All right. So there's one. And then we're going to add another one that's smaller. Just two of them like this kind of creates this idea of movement and then one following the wing down down it doesn't have to be anything specific and then maybe one to help to define the wing here and I'm gonna add which suggests that He's flying, or she's flying, the angel. And I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add a couple of highlights. One side of the robe. So I'm just going to go here. going to move. And move. And just kind of... I am not adding anything to the face because it's a face. Shouldn't have a highlight on the face like that, right? At least I don't think so. Okay. Let's let's remove this tape and see. Let's see. Oh. I do try to reuse my tape, which is why I just put that. I have a bookcase right here in the back. Where did this fall from? So if I get to reuse the tape, then it's not. Oh, I don't get to reuse this one. It got all. Oh, well. Ugh. Sometimes it pulls the paper and sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of hit or miss for me. I don't know. I've tried like the artist tape does the same thing. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I should read on that and find out. Ah, it did pull paper. Oh well. How cute is that? Okay, let me see if I turn off this light over here on the side. Yeah, I think it's better. It shows better what we've got. And so the last step is to sign always, 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 right? So just somewhere around here. Da -da. It is done. It is done. What do you guys think? 
That's cute, isn't it? You know what? I look at it right now with that light off, or well, mostly off, and I want to add a little bit more of this um, apricot to the face because it's not quite not quite covered. There. There we go. All right. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Let me know if if you had fun. Um yeah. I hope I hope to be on tomorrow again because we have a week. So I hope to put a couple more of uh, winter break series for you guys to enjoy and paint. Um, if you paint something, please put it in the comments or put it in like a separate post, tag me, tag, tag Luba Carlson artist, or just tag Luba Carlson if we're friends on Facebook or tag Paint Along Monday. Let me know how, how it went for you and I will see you around. Have a great Monday. Bye-bye.